Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and in this video I'm going to be making some curtains for the dining room of my 70s Victorian mansion which is a bit of a fusion of styles that I'm working on or that's one of my projects that I've got on the go but uh, today we're going to be making the curtains for the dining room and we're going to be making them out of uh, paper towels. I've never done this before and I'm really hoping that it all comes together. The reason why I'm using paper towels in this particular project is because it is a half scale or 124 scale and it is it is small. So any fabric that I've been able to find is just a little, just too thick to be using for curtains. So I'm hoping that this is actually going to be thin enough to actually give me the look that I'm after. So yeah, let's have a look to see how it all come together. So to begin with I'm just going to separate out the two layers of the paper towel. My one is actually only two ply so it's actually only two layers that I need to separate out so I'm just very gently easing them apart so uh, I don't want to rip it all apart because I want to use um, both sides of the paper towel. Uh, so yeah I'm just going to very e gently ease it off um, just so that I can keep it intact as much as possible. Once I've got them apart, all I'm going to do now is cut them, or actually fold them in half, and then um, just cut those down the middle. And then I'm going to go back and fold it in half again and cut them um, in half again. So I actually end up with four pieces out of each of those, each sides of the paper towel, which will give me, um, which will give me eight pieces altogether. I'm not going to need them all, but it's actually quite good to have. Okay, distraction over. Um, I'm just going to mix up some paint with a little bit of um, glue as well. I'm just using PVA glue. So it's a mix of paint, water and glue. And I've just used basically equal parts of that. But then I do notice that it is just a little bit thick. The paper towel just absorbs all of the moisture really quickly. So I'm just going to coat that um, in both sides and just make sure that it's well drenched into the paper towel. Um, and then I'm just going to um, gather it up. I just laid it down here thinking that I could do the same thing with fabric, but then very quickly realized that it was far too thin and needed to um, sort of uh, manage it just slightly differently um, than I would with fabric. So I'm just actually just concertining it up, just sort of gathering it together, just um, making sure that uh, it kind of looks as much like a curtain as possible. I will trim the top and the bottom once it's dry. Um, and then I'm just going to lay that out on some greaseproof paper just so that I know that once it's all dry and that glue is dry that I can actually um, get it um, off the paper and then I can set it aside to properly dry. Once they've had uh, overnight to dry I'm just going to peel them off the greaseproof paper and actually even though I cut the pieces of paper to length with them being with all the moisture within the glue and the paint it's actually stretched them out a bit so um, which is actually not a bad thing because it just means that I can actually cut them down to size so all I'm doing here is actually placing them into the project just to make sure that they actually do fit and then I can move them around depending on the side uh, that I'm actually quite happy with to making sure that they look okay. Um, so once I'm happy with that then all I need to do now is um, just cut the top piece just um, in line with the top of the window for this particular um, door opening and then just in line with the bottom. Once it's cut to length and I'm happy with it, then all I need to do now is just go in and add a touch of glue and I'm just going to glue these directly onto the window frame and I'm going to do that on both sides. Once I've cut them down to size, I'll go back and glue them um, as I go. So 
one thing that didn't really turn out as I expected was the colour. It sort of washed out as it dried. So I'm just going to have a think about what I'm going to do here. So I made a decision. I'm actually going to repaint it. Or actually paint it again. So I'm just going to use the same depth of colour or the same green. Uh, but instead of mixing it with any water or glue, which I think has actually just diluted actually the pigment of it. And I really wanted these to be a really deep, rich green. Um, I'm just going to go over them with a coat of paint. I'm not too worried about getting right into all of the details. Um, because it's quite dark anyway, I just wanted to make sure that it's just giving the, the depth of colour that I was looking for. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out um, and hopefully that you will also see the difference as well. You can kind of see the difference there between the one on the left to the one on the right. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Um, should I have added in a curtain rail or a rod to add a little bit more texture? I was debating whether to do that or not, but decided to leave it out in the end. But yeah, if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, really appreciate it. It goes a long way to making this channel a success, which means that I can actually bring more of these type of videos to you. So that's it for today's video, and I will catch you in the next one.